Student athletes are putting their endurance to the test for a good cause at the annual Strength and Honor Liftathon in Aiken. Money raised by the event will go to area veteran organizations. Our Logan Gay has more. Since 2014, the Strength and Honor Liftathon has brought out some of the strongest athletes in the Aiken area. The event is free to the public and is open to participants in eighth grade and older. We feel that all athletes need is strength. Strength prevents injury, strength increases speed, and strength it makes us uh, better jumpers and um, just all around better uh, competitors. The liftathon incorporates different power lift competitions and encourages student athletes to keep up their dedication to fitness during their off season. So tonight we're going to be doing three major lifts: bench, squat, and clean. And we're just going to we're going to max out. Everybody's going to see how much they can lift and then we're going to take those three added up divided by our body weight to find out our MPPL. The Strength and Honor Liftathon is about more than just muscles and lifting heavy objects. It's about giving back to the veteran community and remembering that freedom is not free. The main point of this event is to not only show our, our strength and how much we have become stronger and closer as a team, not just not just in football, but any sport. We're just one big athletics program here that's come together as one, but it's also to showcase our honor for the veterans and thank them for all that they've done for our country. Altogether, the Lifting Fundraiser has raised over $17,000 for veteran organizations. This year, we're hoping for another 10000 and that's going to go to the Legion again. And uh, it goes in right into the Veterans Relief Fund. Half of it will be going to the post, and the other half will be going to the auxiliary. In Aiken, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Within two days, the athletes raised a total of $11,300 for the American Legion post number 86. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.